Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Grounded, shall we? Well, got this for the PC Game Pass, and I've been meaning to play it for a long time, just been doing other stuff, and I wanted to check out this game, uh, which is like a survival crafting kind of game, where it seems like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, where you get made real small and you're in your backyard, and it's also somehow made by Obsidian, so I'm really excited to see how Obsidian does with a completely different kind of a game. I've never watched this game, I've never played this game, so this is my first time, and let's dive into single player. Um, I don't know what continue means, let's go to the new game. And let's see, survival, um, creative or custom. We're going to go survival, um, moderate stress level. Manage hunger, thirst, and health and stamina while you fight to survive. Um, or mild. Recommended for, for first-time visitors um, to the yard. Let's just go for medium. And let's see. I can be Max. I can be Willow. I can be Pete. Or I can be Hoops. Um, I don't know if they... You know have anything different about them or if it's just cosmetic um we'll go ahead and be pete because he's got a ridiculous space shirt tucked into his shorts my name's peter my friends call me pete okay buddy ready for adventure um all right and i picked him let's go yard world name well it's gonna be you know Doctor Incompetence Yard, I think, is fine. You can't run from me, you foul beast! <laughs> oh. You think you outsmarted me? The mighty Muldoon? I don't think so, Yoke's Girth! Stay tuned for what happens next on Yoke's Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a punch to the gut. <laughs> so stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. Uh -oh. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, ominous practical technology signs a new deal Very much a Stranger Things uh, musical intro here. Look at that He-Man. Yard. What could go wrong? Uh, there's a little suitcase arriving by parachute. Investigate surroundings. Oh my Whoa. god. Pete. Oh, looks like you really stepped in it this time. I guess so. Just where in the world are you? Hello? Hello? All right, Pete. Remember your scout train. Step one, get your bearings. Get your bearings. All right, so I need to remember my scout training, and I started in this little suitcase here. Yeah, I need to walk around. 
Okay. My God. All right. Let's check it out. Wow. I am tiny. This is a footprint of a dog? Um, a sprig. I guess I can nab it. I discovered a sprig. Slurp nasty water. Yeah, of course. It poisoned me, but I drank it. Get a pebble. Alright. And... Hey, a common example of the Formicidae family. I can... I've got a rock. Okay. Let's see. What's that? Signal detected? What are you talking about? Must be being transmitted from nearby. All right. Sap. Can I eat that? Find and eat some food. Uh, it looks like little mushrooms. Maybe I can eat those. Plant fiber. Plant fiber. Okay. Can I eat these things? Um, that's a weevil. That's a sprig. Oh god, it hit me. I've been struck. Um, I could smash things, though, with a rock, I guess, if I wanted to. Oh, you're coming after me? Take that. Take that. Take that? Uh, I'm gonna die. I guess I need to run. That lawn mite is gonna kill me. My weapon is not effective enough. Are you still following me? You are. I threw it and I killed it. And that's what you get. Can I... I harvested his remains. Darn right I did. I've discovered a field station. Oh, look at this. It's little tiny computers. Use the resource analyzer. Well, logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues. Or some one. Yes, hopefully. Let's analyze. I only have three charges left. Science! Science! All right. Got some brain power. Okay. And let's analyze this stone. All right. We can make a spear and an axe. That would be very helpful. All right. Our brain power is going up. We only have one charge left, though. So, uh, I don't know. Fiber. All right. So we can make a rope, a bandage, and a slurry. Interesting. All right. Um, the terminal's offline. All right. Well, I, I got rock bottom. I analyzed some stuff. Look for more science equipment. Okay. Look at this. This is telling you maybe like a rock and a stick and a fiber makes is an idea. Craft a peblet axe. Okay. Um, so let's go to crafting. And we can make... Okay. I just pushed options to go to this. And I'm using the triggers and the bumpers to move between this. Um, I can make a spear, but an axe would be good. But I don't have, I don't have rope. So let's at least make a spear. Consulting Detective Weevil, hot on the trail. He's got a nose for the truth. Yes, a nose for the truth. Okay, ropes, I need more fiber. All right, no problem. Let's go ahead and... I threw that stone because I was angry. Um, uh, how do I switch? No. Uh... 
Yeah, okay, I guess you... Do that. Alright, interesting. Let's go ahead and pick up this sprig. Pick up plant fiber, pick up that. Pick up everything you can. I need the axe to be able to gather wood, I guess. So, we'll get that in a moment. Let me get fiber so I can make a rope. Alright, so let me craft a rope. And then this is a slurry, which, who wouldn't want that? Um, I can't make it for some reason. Okay. And then we need to make an axe. I made it. Uh-oh. Are you coming at me? Nah, the weevil seems like he's not hostile. Alright. Um, so, I can... Use this to switch to my axe. And then... Chop. I mean, I'm chopping this. Yeah. I got it. I chopped a blade of grass. I got a grass plank. How about that? And apparently I've equipped it. I can unload it. It's a big heavy item. I'll just put it on the ground. Hmm. Okay. Go ahead and pick up this and this. Find and eat some food. Um, a trail marker. Food. Roasting spit. Dug grass chunks. Sprigs. All right. Um, I have some items in my inventory. Can I eat this? Consume. Oh, it's unanalyzed, so maybe I can't eat it yet. All right, well, we need more science then. Oh, it got its power back. Okay. It just takes time, I guess. Science. Mushroom slurry. Brain power went up. That's good. And I got some new stuff, so I can make, like, hammers... And some armor and things. Okay. I'm scanning the sap. I can make a lamp, a workbench, a sap sconce. All right. Brain power unlocks. Okay. All right. Good. Um... Unpowered offline. Can I eat these bars? Okay, granola bars. Great. Now I can just eat those normally. So let's go into our inventory and let's just, you know. Choke it down, Pete. Choke it down. It's a granola bar. It's good. Relax. Um, there we go. Our hunger is getting better. Not bad. Filling up our hunger pretty well. Water is a problem. Alright. Look for more science equipment. Well, this looks like something up here. Uh-huh. I'll take some of that. And that. And... Yeah, what is this? Look at the size of that thing. Mysterious machine. It's probably the size of a, a bathroom scale? No, it's smaller. This. Oh, data out. It's called Spacer. Curiosity. 
Looks like this thing hooks up with those lasers. I don't think that worked properly. It seems like the machine needs all three lasers to function. Yes. Maybe there's a way to fix them? Maybe there's a way to fix them indeed. Find out what's weakening the lasers. Well, should I go down inside? I'm in there. Wow, look at me on the motherboard here. Um, this looks like it's busted. But I don't know how to, like, interact with it. Oh, look, it makes people big and small. Maybe. Um... Okay. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll leave out here. Unblock the obstructed laser. I guess I want to smack it or something. I don't even know what's obstructing it. I'm down here. I don't see anything. Nothing lit Mark, up. Yonder lady of the clover forest. On what errand does the day find you? That's right. Find water, indeed. I mean, here's water. It's just filthy. Gross. Tower and at, say intentions. Your flight path is not cleared. Tiny Pete needs food badly. I'm hungry, huh? Um, but boy, I just ate like two granola bars and a bunch of mushrooms. Maybe drinking that water is what made him hungry. Eat or die. Well, that's pleasant. All right, let me make some slurry, I guess. Um, here, go over here. Requires a grinder. Oh, I need a grinder. Yeah, I don't have any of that. So I gotta just eat, look for food. Here's some mushrooms over here. I'm just gonna run over here and just eat these. Sprouts. It's not that bad. Don't complain. Alright. I'm eating that. Alright, find out what's weakening the lasers. Find clean water. Wait, I've got a lot of objectives here. Oh, it's a dewdrop. That's clean. Got a honeydew. All right, let's go back to the science, I guess, and see if we can research some of this stuff. Do I have, like, a map? I do. Here I am. All right. Any dew drops for me? All right, let me look. Ice caps, mints, nice. 
Look at this. It's a bunch of mints. Can we get in there? I mean, it'd be nice. Yeah, I can't smack it. Well, uh, maybe I, oh, I hit it with that and it kind of opened it. There. Can I eat this? I need the hammer. All right. How do I craft the hammer? I need crude rope and pebblets. I just need one pebblet. We got it. We know pebblets. I'm hungry again. Good lord. How hungry is this guy? This mushroom's the size of his head. How many do you need to eat? Better than starving, I think. Yeah, it's better than starving. Get it together. Need some more rocks here. Here's one. Alright, so now I can make a hammer. Got it. And then now, I'm gonna go ahead and use my hammer. And I'm gonna go see if I can, like, smash these mints. Oh, these are too strong for my rock hammer. All right, well, fair enough. I tried. You know what, what I like about this game is that it's like, it, it's an exploration game. It's very much about seeing what you can do. So that one's working. This one's got problems. Um... Well, pounding on it isn't really doing what I wanted. I mean, I can hit it. I don't see anything on the board itself beyond this that looks like there's much I can do with it. getting quite late. I should construct some shelter and get some sleep. Okay, it is getting late, isn't it? I just unlocked the lean-to recipe. That's nice. That didn't do anything. Nor did that. Okay. Oh, I see. It, all that's blocking it is that there's a... The leaf is blocked. I need to cut it down. All right, what do I need for a lean-to? I need clover leaves and sprigs. I haven't even seen a clover leaf. Oh, they're telling me where they are. Good. Oh, I see. It's right here. And I need to use my little axe on it. Okay. Okay, nab it, nab it, nab it. And then build a lean to. Um, I'm just gonna build it on this machine because it seems like super safe. Okay, you can't. Too steep. Well, we can build it next to the machine. 
Location obstructed. Well, no, it's already there. Um, build it. Got it. All right, we got the lean to. There's the mint. Set your respawn pawn. Uh, set it to your. Relocate? No, no, no. Relocate is fine. Use it. Set respawn point. Okay. And sleep until the morning, I guess. I don't know if this is even safe. Yeah, we can unblock the laser. We just need to use the axe. Alright. So now... Let's see, which one is it? It's over here. And it's this. Got it. Lasers back online. Hey, what's this? It's like a cassette tape. I'm tiny. I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmechter, like all of Ominent. I am here in the backyard. Down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. I am tiny! I should gather my thoughts. This is a momentous occasion. It is. Wendell Tolley official log, 89.08.05. Recording as I take my first steps into the miniature world. The sights are unbelievable. The textures, the, the way the light falls upon every surface, the subtle patterns in all of the objects that surround me, the grass. Even common lawn grass looks like a structure from an alien world. Wait. What's that sound? The very earth is trembling. Over there, what could it be? An ant! My God, today, the world has changed forever. It has. All right, so we got a little teeny cassette. Oh, look at this. Tropical Puncho. And a big drop of dew. wonder if I can get that down if I chop this. Analyze a grass plank at a resource, resource analyzer. Okay. Did the dew drop fall down? Did I lose that? I was trying to get it. Ah, that looks like it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Um, can I drink this? Be good. Here's a dewdrop. It's a juice drop from the juice box. That's so funny. All right. Well, great. All right. Let's go back to our research area. And let's do what they say. Oh, there's a big snail over here. All right. Um, there's a spider web. That's terrifying. Where am I? Show me on the map. Um, place a waypoint at the field station. There it is. Go. Find the field station. Here it is. Terrific. All right, let's analyze um, this. So I can take it over here and analyze this plank. Sweet. All right, we can make like a table. Okay. And let's analyze this.
All right. We're doing it. And now we've got pretty much everything analyzed. So we need to build a workbench that I guess is this. And it needs three planks. And we're going to go ahead and rotate this. Uh, I'll build it like, you know, right next door. This is fine. And then we will go close it. And we just can build it by putting on the ingredients that we need. All right, so we need some sap and we need some grass planks, which that's not hard. We can get, the, oh, there it goes, okay. Give me the plank. How many of these can I carry? I can carry five at a time. And we're gonna just stack them up over here and just kinda put them down here and then I will just kind of unload these right there for now. And then we need sap. Now sap, not really sure about sap. Where am I finding sap? Dry grass, okay. Oh, it just exploded. It produced nothing. I don't think I did a good job with that. All right, here's a big leaf. I'm gonna sleep under that. All right, there's some more shrooms. Wow, look at the size of that Chunky Chubbs League-approved baseball. It, it's the size of my dang house. It is a big baseball. I'm alarmed. I think we all should be. Okay. So if I wanted to make, I don't know, armor for myself, like a clover hood or a clover poncho or shin guards, I just need a bunch of sprigs. Um, I need rope, which I can make easily from plant fiber. But I need uh, clovers and such, and that's pretty easy to get too. But I need to eat. I'm not having a good luck. Um... Oh, worse than my mom's Brussels sprouts. Not having good luck. Whoa, why don't you just stay over there, small red With insect. sap. I'm actually going to switch to this. I feel like it's probably stronger. So I harvested it, craft a bandage. I, I harvested its remains, but, um... A fiber bandage. It requires sap. Sap, I'm just having such a hard time getting. Where is sap? Like, where do I find it? Roots and branches. Okay. Well, I mean, this is a branch. Hmm. Here, let me see this. Here's a bunch of roots. So can I like use my axe and hit this and to get sap? Doesn't feel like it at all. All right. I'm gonna kind of. Look around. We need some clover. What is this? Is this a different kind of guy here? What is this thing? Husky weed? I can't chop it. I'm not strong enough. This looks like clover. Okay, that's great. More clover. All right, let me go to the crafting and let's go to the armor. To make a clover hood, I need a workbench. Okay, fair enough. So we gotta get sap. We gotta figure out how to gather this. I got some early on.
All right, let me think about this. Oh, is that sap right there on this route? There we go. But it's only one piece. Okay, so we're going to look for it like on the underside of a, of a branch. Almost like a bubble of water or something. I think I need another piece to be able to finish the project. Hmm. Can't chop the toadstool yet. All right. There's some sap, but I have to walk in this water. Can I swim? What's that? Is that sap? Hmm. I mean, if it is, I'm not good enough to get it. Here, go back and get that. Get that sap, dude. Here, move back. Oh, dear God, the swimming. Okay. There we go. What is this? Can I get it? No. It's just like bubble guy. There's a potato down here. That's interesting. All right, let's get out of here then. I'm pretty good at swimming. That was nice. Good bath for us. All right, let's go back to our base and let's work on this I should build a lean-to by the station I don't want to build sleep over there by the laser got it all right analyze a grass plank I did it I got the workbench analyze a clover leaf oh okay we can do that sure oh and we can analyze our rope analyze everything we make I guess Science. I can make a bow, an eye patch. That's awesome. Who doesn't want an eye patch? And we can make a storage basket and a clover table. Great. That's very good. All right, let me go here and let's see about a lean-to. Um, yeah, I, I want to make one, right? Can I make it inside here? No, that's fine. Make it right there. There you go. And then craft a fiber bandage, which I think it takes sap to do that. It does. I don't have enough. A canteen. Maybe that's what I found in the water. No, no, this is made with grub hide. Okay. Um, that was a potato for sure. All right. An acorn shovel. I need an acorn shell to do that. All right. Let's go ahead and make um, a storage basket. We just need some clover leaves. Those are easy to get. Kind of. Uh, except at the moment when you need them. But we're looking for sap and we're looking for clover. So let's just kind of go around and see what we can gather. This is all dry. This is a patch that must be in the sun or something. Any sap over here? On this thing? Not that I see. Any clover? No, not at all. Not even, not even close. All right, what about on this leaf? Do we see any any sap. No, not on the underside. This kind of lighted up craft torch. Oh, here's sap right here. Better than starving, I think. All right, we got some more sap. Which is terrific. Let's see if there's any more sap in here, to be honest. Or a way to... better identify it. Oh, there's some. 
kind of. Must be up here. Oh my god, something's on me. I've angered something. Alright, let's get back to our house. Ooh, there's a lot of sap here, though. Go. It's some death spider. Oh my god, there's death spiders everywhere. I've, I've made a mistake. I see what I did wrong. I'm sorry, spiders. Go. Get out of here. Is this the right way out? Oh my god, there's like a giant device here. This is not the right way out. Where's my... Where's my house? I think I lost the spider. Temporarily, but... What I haven't figured out is... Where's my... It should be on my map. Yes, here. Place that waypoint again so I can locate. Okay, I need to go this way. That is a huge spider. We have to run. Oh my god. Run. Run, you beautiful little kid. Don't be killed by a spider that somehow makes the noises of a bear. Low stamina. Stamina back. Run. Run. Get away from that spider. Boy, we were almost killed by that. A small child almost died. All right, let's go ahead and craft. See if we can make this bandage. We can. All right, tremendous. Let's analyze. Um, we can analyze the bandage. Science. All right. Let's close this up, and let's use this bandage on ourselves. Um, I mean, I'm serious. Use it. We're, we're seriously hurt. That helped us a little bit. I don't feel great. Can I make a storage chest? I need clover, that's right. Well, we know that clover was kind of back this way. Yeah, there's plenty. This is a scary experience. That spider was not pleased to see me. All right, clover for days. Now, oh, sap. I love how for this, I'm never going to do this quest. Um, I'm never going to complete it because I wanted to always illuminate sap like that. It's so useful. I guess it, it just teaches me where to look for it. Like, in the future, I'll be better at finding it. Maybe. But for now, this quest is like, hey, do you want to know where it is? I'm like, oh my god, yes I do. I'm thirsty, so I'm going to have to drink the gross stuff. This is probably not a good idea. But we drank it anyway, because we've got to. We've got no choice. And here's some sap. And there's some sap here. All right. Let me head back to my base. Oh, here's a big piece of sap right there. Pick it up. Oh, no, that's honeydew. All right. Well, that's actually probably something I can eat. Um... I'll take all these rocks. I don't know if you have, like, encumbrance or anything like that, or weight. But right now, I'm pretty good at carrying stuff. Alright, so I'm going to go back here. And I'm just going to, right by my workbench, I'm going to try to craft myself a storage basket. We'll put it right there. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in, like, a bunch of stuff, you know. Drinkable heels snack. Boy, that's really good. Let's put this fuzz in there. Now, I didn't mean to put my um, spear in. Put that in there. That's good. All right. Now, can I 
craft a piece of armor yet. I can make... I need a rope. Now I can make a clover hood for myself. At the workbench. Okay, you have to actually use the workbench and make this. Fantastic, we did it. I crafted a piece of armor, and in my inventory, I now have armor, and I'm going to That's equip it, safe. and I mm, look safer. great. Now, does this make me hungry? Is that what that means? Oh, no, it makes me fuller. Okay. That's good. Sweet. Well... Everyone, this is uh, my first look at the game, and we're doing our very best to try to survive this nightmare scenario, and I'm having a great time. I'd love to know what you guys think of this game. Do you want to see more of this? Have you played this? Do you recommend it? Um, you know, this is the full release. I had never played any of it before, and I'm uh, really intrigued by this. I think it's a fantastic spin on the crafting survival genre. And it is a hilarious, you know, 90s trip that is channeling Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, which I can get behind 100%. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care.